Hey everyone, Adam here. So in this video, I just wanted to talk about and kind of reflect on last week's video. So if you haven't seen last week's video, a little bit long, apologize about that, but uh, you can see up here, uh, I'll link it. Uh, you can kind of take a quick look at it and basically just get a quick idea of what the whole video is about. So that way this video that I'm about to share with you makes a lot more sense. So when I was editing the video, uh, I was like, oh wow, I had a lot of chords, I had a lot of junk. And as I started editing the video more, I was like, wow, I'm still saving a lot of stuff. I don't want to call it junk because I'm still debating if it's junk or not, but it just, uh, after watching the video and editing it, it really hit me like, wow, this is still a lot of stuff I'm saving. I still have a lot of crap that I need to work on and get rid of. So then, I started reflecting. I started asking myself questions like, okay, well, why, why am I holding on to some of this stuff? So one of the answers to that, uh, actually all the answers kind of surprised me, but the one I kind of, I kind of know about. So, um, and this one will, uh, to me, makes the most sense and is the most valid. Uh, in my mind for at least why saving some of the stuff that I save, especially in that box. So my wife and I, we live in a uh, an apartment in Manhattan. We are renting. We recognize that this is not a long-term solution for us. And what I mean by that is, you know, eventually we would like to either buy a place uh, that is more of with a long term long term solution in mind, meaning uh, maybe five or more years. Now, in my mind, nothing is ever long term. I never ever want to lock myself into that. But if I were to buy a house, I would definitely be committed to that, right? That would be a big step, or buy an apartment, or whatever you want to call it, right? That would be a big step and a big commitment. Eventually, my wife and I would like to do that. And um, because that's always in our thoughts, I don't know when exactly we're going to do that. Um, hopefully within uh, the next five years, or at least that's what we've talked about as being one of our goals. Because we know that we are saving stuff in the sense that I may need to utilize this later and I don't want to rebuy it. So in, in that video, a uh, perfect example I used was the router. Um, if my current apartment that I'm in, like if we bought it and this was like, hey, we're going to be here for the next at least five, you know, with a long term solution in mind, I definitely would have gotten rid of that router because I would have been like, wow, I've got Fios. I love Fios. I have no reason to jump ship with Fios as of yet. I have to use their router. Their router is really, really good. I can configure it the way I want. Why am I saving onto this router? I would probably donate and get rid of it. However, because I know that I haven't bought this apartment, I'm like, well, you know, at my next place, I may need this router and I, it's a great router. So why get rid of that? So that's one piece of it. And I would say that that's probably true with 25% of the stuff that I actually saved in that box. Okay. The other 75%, I started thinking, why am I saving it? And this is kind of the, the hardest thing that uh, is hard for anyone. And uh, I think that this is, you know, that video shows a great lesson even on my part failing, is that you always start thinking about those what if scenarios. Uh, what if I do another audio project and I need this wire? Okay. What if I do another audio project and I need this and this and this wire? Some of that stuff may be true. I don't want to dismiss that. And I don't mind saving some of the adapters. But then as I started reflecting on it and I looked at my list, I was saving uh, some of the stuff. I was saving two of everything. So maybe I can make a better compromise, right? Okay. Well, see, instead of saving two of everything, and why am I saving two of everything? I, I don't know. It's just one of those things where it's like, well, then if I do an audio project and I need that, then I have this. But then if this one breaks, then I have a backup of the backup. Then I may never, ever use the backup. That's no good. You know, I need to work on that. Uh, so <clears throat> I think the next plan of attack is I'm going to let that box just kind of sit there. I'm still going to think about it. Um, and then maybe the next bo uh, next month or so, I'm going to tackle it again. And instead of having two of every single adapter, maybe I'll pare it down to one of every single adapter. 
uh, and, and kind of lighten that box even more. And in that video uh, of last week, I basically said that I would never ever allow that box to get more than um, uh, to fill it up again. Well, maybe I can take it one step farther, right? Maybe I can say, hey, you know, instead of this big giant box, maybe I can keep a small box and let that box, that small box, never ever get full. So the point of this video is to show that, that even myself, like I'm constantly evolving. I'm constantly reflecting. I'm constantly seeing ways that I can actually improve myself uh, and, and kind of simplify things down. And this is a perfect example. You may not get it right the first shot. You may not get it right the second or third or fourth shot. And I think, I think people have to realize that you can always, you can always improve. You can always analyze. You can always, uh, potentially do better. And you just have to realize that, that when you first go about doing this, you may not do as well as you would like the first time through. And that's fine. Take it slow. And look, as I said in my last video, even if you get rid of five items out of that box, like let's say for whatever reason, I just said, well, I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. And I was like, ah, I think I need everything else. And I saved it. I still improved. Granted, it, it may not be that huge of an improvement or at least or at least uh decluttering but it's still an improvement so take small steps take big steps whatever feels right for you um the point is is always evolve and always learn uh and and always and always be honest with yourself right like watching that video really made me be honest with myself and realize that hey i did a good job but now i think i could do even better so i want to take it to that next step Anyway, uh, the box is going to sit there for a month as is. Um, I'm not going to add anything to the Google spreadsheet or start that project yet because I may pare down even more. So uh, we'll see what happens. Um, if I remember, I'll try to keep you posted and let you know and keep you updated on, on this little project of mine and see how much I can uh, declutter even more. Uh, it's kind of exciting seeing, seeing how far you can take things. Anyway, uh, hopefully someone found this video helpful. Uh, if you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up, leave comments, uh, whatever you want to do. Try to keep them positive or neutral or constructive criticism. Uh, that would be fantastic. Uh, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.